All right, we are back with the second duel. Uh, second video. Oh my Jesus, we cannot win a rock, paper, scissors to save our lives. But we did open up with one of the best hands of the deck. And uh, yeah, man. So let me show you pretty much how an extra link uh, recurring with Bazooki is still the same exact thing here. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you open up Slayer Mizuki, it's the same exact combo as before. Um, I actually can't add that. So we'll add Origin. We'll ditch ourselves the Battle Lord since we do play multiple. Um, we'll just go for the Battle Lord and we'll tribute. I mean, we actually just banish both Slayers here. It's, it's very, it's, it's very, it's very, the, oh my god, we drew a Samurai Skull. And then we'll just call Monsters from here on out because just in case he's waiting for something, we'll just hold that off. Um, and then we'll go Summon Sorcerers here. Use Summon Sorcerers as effect. Um, we'll add ourselves a battle lord because if we keep the slayer in the deck We're still able to pre prep later on if we do draw into it and then that's very fun All right, so let's just refill the battle lord here Go right there Bam use this hopefully we don't get hit with the young. Oh, we don't all right So this is once again the same exact combo and this is why I say if you start off with what's the name you're 100% fine and that's pretty much what we start off with and I think here Did we grab it doesn't matter what you grab here actually because you're getting two searches before you even go into the firewall play um and then once again like i said if you just start off with a mizuki and a slayer or anything to send a mizuki it's the same exact combo as before folks so hopefully you know this you know kind of just put, put your head at ease folks that um this deck is not dead by any stretch of the imagination now here if you want to be fancy if you really want to be fancy folks you can add double goblins. You know what? Let's be fancy today. This is once again why I play. <laughs> this is why I play uh, multiple goblin zombies. Is because you, that is a card you definitely want to start off with. And at this point of the combo, since we don't have goblin anymore and we don't need different names, what we can do, and you're always going to have a ritual spell in your hand. So what we can do here, oh, Leafa. It was the same exact thing. You guys get what I'm saying. Um, I really thought that I was going to see look this is why you, you keep the pre prep I mean you keep the last slayer in the deck because now you're able to do that you could have still did the same thing but I really thought I was special summoning two monsters for some reason right here so there was no point to do that but <laughs> you guys pretty much get my drift here but yeah use these two to go bam uh, nightmare Ibley and firewall to special summon now like I said you guys can do it any way you possibly see fit like you technically did not have to add that goblin zombie back really to be honest with you you could have just you know kept all your cards in your hand if you felt like it but you know i like to use certain stuff uh, but yeah since price dragon is just any two monsters you can just definitely do that uh, we'll discard that and we'll special summon a goblin zombie here and then uh once again we'll just go into our second sucker bam and then since we haven't used unizombie we could just definitely do that and then like i said since we did search <laughs> we did search another what's name we can just grab ourselves a um let me see here how many mizukis we have left none all right so now we could just search us a solitaire then you can use these two to go into your uh trigate oh i forgot to search what's name that's <laughs> i need the one star <laughs> i keep forgetting to search it uh, but once again, like I said, this this play is just once again the same thing. <laughs> you don't really need anything particular. Um, let's go ahead and grab us a uh, Vendra Core. And then once again, we can just go Omega here. We keep drawing Scarjale for some reason. But yeah, yeah. So let's no firewall. What am I thinking? No, no firewall. You could technically just pass some of the Samurai Skull there, but like I said, you just want to do pretty much the. We still have two Mizuki still in the graveyard, so you're able to just do whatever you would like to do. Um, and then, like I said, we can go into a Omega. You know what's crazy? You're not actually able to go up there because it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a coding. So that's why, um, yeah, man, that's, 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 that's pretty, that's news to some people, but not to most. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is the fuck you playing red eyes. Oh yeah. You're getting extra lead, sir. And then here you can just add literally whatever you want. You can add Gozuki. You can add that. So it's important if you do. Well, it's not important if you do, but you can definitely just add, you know, whatever you would like to the combo or whatever cards you see fit in the deck. 
you can definitely add and then like just play like Kasha shooting doji I do like playing shooting doji because once again you can just end on some just fun stuff uh, once again like if you're playing shooting doji you could just go unicorn and then then go into the Western aim but we're not playing shooting doji so we're just going to this I um, mean then we'll use uh, one two and four bam um, no need to use firewall we'll use this he will discard two cards out of his hand. And since we did call up monsters with Battle Lord, he's not able to trigger any of his cards that he sends to the graveyard. And then, you know, we just we just end off peacefully, you know. See, man, this is uh see look, he sent this thinking he was gonna get the effect. Wait. This card is infinite. Oh never mind. He wasn't gonna be able to trigger it regardless. So yeah. Um you go here and you can get another what's the name? Omega's at one, so we're not able to double Omega him, but yeah, man, this is just pretty much the same exact combo. Like I said, man, it's just so great. So freaking great. Um, and then what we can do here is just end on Phoenix. You really just end off whatever you really want to. I like to just end on Phoenix because the um, the battle thing is pretty cool. No need to do that because we only have one what's the name left. And I think we'll just... You know what? I don't think I want to search Samurai Skull. Uh, no, not Samurai Skull, but yeah, you get my drift. Um, we don't technically need any of these cards in our hand, so... Uh, worst case scenario, what's the name gets banished. <laughs> worst case scenario, both of these get sent to the graveyard, but I'm pretty sure he's not gonna have a fun time playing Yu-Gi-Oh, so... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. Like I said, this is pretty much same old thing, man. Same old, same old. Uh, able to do it you just need you, like I said you just really if you start off with Mizuki like you, like you guys seen the combo just if you start off it's, it's pretty much the similar it's basically very very similar Goblin, I mean Goblin just made it a, a just a ton easier but still able to but yeah also I am also thinking about playing Manju because Manju Slayer can do it if you play Dynamiscus now this is this is this this is horrific I don't even know what this even means <laughs> But we'll just set these two. Uh, but once again, once this goes through, this is pretty much the combo because you can grab Solitaire and then you can just do. Oh fuck, he's playing Harpies. Oh no. All right, I don't know what any of these do. I've seen a video, but I didn't technically see the video. I don't even know why I did that. Um, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna set over there. Oh no. What does that spell card do? Um, you just had. God damn it. When your harpy later is destroyed by battle, you express some harpy with different names. You card you can choose to destroy by card effect. You can target one harpy and you give rest by some it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he has that fucking card. Oh, alright. Pretty sure he has that card. I don't know. Does it negate spells? Does it? So I don't know if it negates spells. That's that's what I'm a little worried about. But if it doesn't negate spells, we're, we're, I mean, I'm pretty sure he negated it. But pretty sure we're fine here. Don't want to get hit by impermanence or anything like shut line or something. So I'm just gonna start with that. I have. A f I, I know he has. He has to fucking have the card. So I'm not even gonna even be upset about anything right now because I'm pretty sure I already know he has it so I'm not gonna nothing really really too much to say I know he has it yep yeah see there it goes all right so it's in our turn here I, I don't know what to do you got a steric sign or something it's gonna hurt compose so yeah man pretty good <laughs> that card is so fucking good it's ridiculous you activated from your hand oh my god man so do we actually oh right there, there, there there's, 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 there's a guy there's the guy there's the guy there's the fucking guy I think we just start off with this guy here cause if he negates this then is this no reason to continue Let's see here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. 
Transients. There we go. See, I was trying to play with it. I was trying to play around it. Yeah, we can still activate this, right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Time out. Okay, yeah, never mind. I can activate it. I was literally but I was literally be honest with you. I was literally going to uh <laughs> I was literally about to put the card right there. <laughs> Just like right under your impermanence. I was literally finna do that. But yeah, this is this is over. You don't compose you don't compose these cards here, folks. Um we're at Origin. Well done, Battle Lord. Oh, if we draw Battle Lord, we're in trouble. Alright, so wait, if a uh, Harvey is controlled by uh, you can special summon. So do we just call monsters or spells? If I call monsters, then he it doesn't matter what he brings out. But this will trigger. I think I'm gonna call it monsters. I almost did it again, that's crazy. Um, it would just banish two slayers. It not it doesn't matter right now. Hopefully we just draw drawn to another ritual. Oh, pre prep. I think I'm gonna just put it right there just to fucking get negated by something. All right, so we'll use this. We'll call uh, monsters, correct? That's what I said. Um, you can special one, yeah, one harpy monster. Got you. But yeah, folks, let's go ahead and just run through this because it doesn't look like he has anything to respond with. Um, at the last battle, Lord, the last one in the deck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, single with me. I knew he had an impermanence too. I felt it. I felt the impermanence was there. I felt it was there. Uh, one, two, Mizuki. So that means there's another one in the graveyard. Correct? There is one in the graveyard. You know what? Oh, we can't actually do it right now. We can't actually do that. Uh, actually, I can just kill this, right? If this card. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm a stupid. I'm stupid. I really thought it was to say if a harpy was destroyed by something. We're not using that effect. And then here, like I said, it doesn't matter what you search. It doesn't really matter. You can search pretty much for whatever. As long as it's a zombie master or something, you're fine. Um, I really want to resolve two goblin zombies. I really do. I really do. Like I, I, I think I think that solidifies game more than anything else in the game. Like, like once you once you once you see somebody literally gets two searches off. The same monster i think that really solidifies this game is over even though it already is you know you get what i'm saying i'll get what i'm saying um all right it was almost it was he was he was there i give him that he was there he was there for the tough times here he was going to get me but you know at last i did not falter oh we drew that now that's actually really good um we use these two to go bam and then no Ibley, no need to uh, firewall. Yes, right. Yeah, we use firewall here. Oh, how, do, do we? I don't even think we needed firewall at that point in the situation. If you guys are wondering, yes, I still do play Samurai Skull. Man, he's just a fun card. Oh, all right. Who's that fucking card? I mean, I know y'all seen it in the game one, but I'm just saying. All right, so here's the deck once again. We're just working with this now. Let's. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about some other stuff. Uh, such as Call of the Mummy, I feel like I kind of want to play. Uh, maybe three, because once again, once you need, if you get Goblin Zombie on the field before you ritual summon, you're going to pull off the combo. You don't even, technically, you don't need it for it. You don't need it, but it just it solidifies the combo. So it's basically similar to exactly what you guys have been playing. Um, Call of the Mummy, also a card I tested out at the regionals. Uh, was pinpoint landing in this card right there it, it, it gave me some business i drew into a monster reborn it, it was crazy pinpoint landing is really good and especially combined with call of the mummy you just basically get you activate this special summon a, a, any zombie and draw a free card and once again it baits out ghost stoker the base out ash boss it baits out the droll so just in case if you do get hit with one of those you could just simply stack up and wait it's completely up to you now you guys let me know any other cards you guys would suggest what are you personally playing like i said you can play any uh zombies you would like to play it really does not matter you just need pretty much a simple uh simple thing of you know the main zombies which i think zombie master is kind of needed i don't know i don't think it's kind of, i think it's just nest i think it's really necessary for you to go what's the name um for you to um actually link your opponent I really feel like it's necessary for Godami Master. I still play Samurai Skull because once again, I do like that effect of whenever it's normal summon, you can just send something 
I really do like that. And then also if it leads by a card effect, once again, triggers. So I definitely like that. Um, like these can be impermanences. These can be any hand trap you want. I personally do not like playing hand traps, but you know, I just want you guys love to, yeah, I already tell me to play Ash Boston. So yes, Fullest Burial once again is still not in this deck because you, as you see, you don't technically need it. But like I said, it's a welcome addition. It would definitely help out. It actually may be, I think you actually should play it because you could send a Mizuki if you have a Goblin Zombie or if you just, if you don't have, basically if you don't have Mizuki or anything, this can be your Mizuki, Fullest Burial can be your Mizuki and stuff like that. So yeah, I can see why some people will play it once again. I just personally don't like, I just personally don't play it because just never really see the need for it. But yeah, man. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of suggestions. You guys let me know. Um, hope you guys did enjoy the video. We'll be back in a couple of, uh, no, not a couple hours, but the, tomorrow we're going to be playing some 14 year olds. All right. We're going to see what that deck can do with the new band list, even though literally three cards, two cards have been taken out and one card has been added. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a like comment or uh, uh, leave, like, leave a like and a comment and also if you want to help the channel out donation links are down below see you tomorrow